Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. 7.0 has dropped and we have the um Vineyard's Light line and here we are with the first one, the tier 8. Just got this today, I've been playing it a ton and um, I'm ready for review now so here is the review. So I don't have the full engine mounted yet, sorry about that, so yeah, it's not quite as fast as it can be, um, but first we're going to look at armor profile. Um, so you have actually a little armor on your t turret, kind of similar to the Comet, but then basically the rest of you is paper. You can get troll bounces every now and then, but that's about it. The rest of you is paper because you are a light tank. Now you do have 1200 hit points, stand, kind of standard light tank, but really what the good thing about this gun is, I mean this gun, this tank is, is the gun. It's a great gun, fantastic gun. I mean, it's just great. Your aim time is 3.8 and your dispersion is 0.365. It is kind of different from the other ones because it is actually not a very accurate tank. Um, your reload is 4.58. Um, that's with an 81% crew, keep it in mind. So it drops another like point, uh, 0.3 or 4 seconds, I'm pretty sure. But the real nice thing about this tank is the DPM and the penetration. Look at that beautiful penetration. 226 millimeters on your AP, your APCR. 258 and your HE is only 42 so it does not have Hesh the only one that really has Hesh is the Vickers Cruiser but it's not even like Hesh it's like just good HE and the same with the tier 10 you are 190 alpha um 160 alpha and 250 and then you have uh 10 degrees of gun depression so nice gun depression you can use that with that actually pretty good turret armor and you can get quite a few bounces actually on that turret. So that's the statistics, everybody. And now we're going to jump straight into some replays. Here we are, guys, with the first replay. We are here on Faust in supremacy mode, and we are bottom tier. Um, I haven't noticed I've been bottom tier a lot in this tank. Don't know why. So um, one thing first, I'm going to say this. When you're dry, um, like I said, I have the the bottom engine the stock engine so i don't know if it feels different whenever you get the non-stock engine but i've noticed this tank does not feel it just does not feel right it feels weird it feels almost like a low like a tier five it, it feels kind of like a type 64 like it just which also like it feels weird if you know what i mean it just feels weird to drive and i don't know if that will go away with the new engine or not but uh it just kind of feels weird so, I don't know if any of you else, um, guys think it feels weird, but, uh, tell me if you do in the comments below, because I don't, don't know if it's just me that thinks this tank feels weird when you're driving it. But anyway, so here we are, and we're just getting some HGs on this WT. We are bullying him. He just gets wrecked from this D54E1, and look there, 1 HP, <laughs> So, this game is kind of one of those ones you're just like, boom, 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 next, next, next. It's funny. So, right off the bat, like a minute in, and they have two tanks down. We've just absolutely wrecked them. And, by the way, uh, like, congrats, Wargaming. I love these tracks and uh, shell marks. Uh, it's beautiful. I love those. And the animations, like there's clouds when they go over. They leave shadows. There's new shadows, new explosions. Um, stuff falls more popular. Pop more properly there's like less glitches it's just really imp improved the graphics of the game it feels much smoother and um definitely just a better experience in playing battles it doesn't feel like it's a five or six year old game anymore it feels like it's a little bit newer there could still be some graphic updates but they can't do it be all of them because they know a lot of the player base is uh has a lot of like crap devices which luckily i used to play on a crap device but I got a new one, so don't really care that much anymore. Um, but yeah, a lot of people play on crap devices because it's mostly kids or slash like teenagers or whatever that play the game. And none of them have new devices, really. So uh, yeah, they, that's their largest player base because, I mean, it's a video game. Come on. That's who plays video games. I mean, mostly. There's still plenty of adults that play video games. I mean, I'll be one of those. Um, but a lot that's the majority of the player base so they can't really change the graphics um that much 
but the, like the, they have the ability where you can turn it off. So that's good so that people can still play with those lower end devices. So good job Wargaming on that. And as you see here, it was just boom, 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 wreck, wreck, wreck. Nice quick game, fun game, and pretty nice damage at the end also. We took no damage that game. We got one bounce though from that other FV301. But we did 2,678 damage and we got one kill. Um, it doesn't make very good credits. I've noticed the credit the coefficient or the ammo, something's off. It, it makes like no credits. But I mean, uh, it's fine really. But moving on to the next replay. This one we are on Mayan Runes and it is an encounter battle and we are top tier. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the play style. So um, what you want to do is one thing I'll talk about a few different ways you can play it. You can play it hold down as a tank because it does have a pretty good turret armor. It's got that great way to fire, that good gun depression. You can just pop up and destroy tanks. It also has that very good penetration, so you don't really have to worry that much about um, shooting the fronts of the tanks. You can pin like almost every heavy with your AP in the front, so it's very, very nice. Which is this is one of the that's one of the things that makes this tank so good is that penetration, because most light tanks um, have horrible penetration, but they have that good mobility and good DPM usually. But this one has the good mobility, good DPM. The armor actually isn't that bad. And it has great penetration, so that makes this tank very strong. I won't be sur surprised maybe if they did nerf it a little. I don't know what they would nerf. Maybe, maybe they would nerf the penetration some because, like I said, penetration is really good. Um, I mean it's not like crazy good, like BL10 good, but like it's good. So you can play a hold down and do that. You can also play where you just kind of. Like, I'm playing hold down here, as you see, it works very effectively. But you can also play where you are just running around the battlefield, catching the tanks that are by themselves, and just kind of your general light. You can play it like a medium or a light, really, whichever one you choose. Or you can just kind of go back and forth. That's personally what I like to do, go back and forth, because I like running around like um, a light, really fast, finding those targets. <clears throat> uh, I need water. That are um, off low and destroying me. Um, so, it's good for catching TVs and stuff like that that are by themselves. And just your general, what your lights do. And also has that good spotting range. Not as good as the 10, I'm pretty sure, or the 9. But still got that good spotting range. So, spotting, that's also one of your main jobs. Make sure you always go and spot your team. Because that can really help out in the battle. Because you can get off really shots sometimes that they can't. And therefore, it can make you win the game sometimes. Sorry, um, I need water really bad, uh, and my voice is like dying because it needs water. But we got a nice snapshot on that comet right there, and uh, oh my voice, uh, it's dying. Help! He he does get off a shot on us right there. Um, so I can tell right at this point basically that this is going to be a win because the comet is there. Uh, the comments like low HP that Borson got taken down and now I, we get this KV so I knew it was going to be a win as soon as that Borson went down so we're just farming this KV as you can see it shoots very fast look at those beautiful shells so nice. I love that um, what Wargaming did with that so we are going to pop down and get one more shot off on the comment this T71 is still full HP so I want to go for an HE right there. Uh, I forgot they did buff the piece of it's armor a few updates ago. Get an unlucky miss right there. Also, one thing I've noticed with this, it does that way too much. It like misses just randomly for no reason. And uh, we do get unlucky here because we don't get any more damage on that T71 because he does get absolutely wrecked from that ammo rack. But now it's just the comet and the other two guys left are both super slow tanks so i know the comet is all mine and all i have to do is just chase him because i have the better speed so it won't take long even though my engine isn't even max my speed is still better so just gonna go basically around looking for him looking for that comet because i know he'll pop up eventually there's plenty of time and there's no way i won't find him especially with our two other tvs 
So I'm just gonna start going around in basically a circle around the map or so. And I tell them to cap because they need to put the pressure on him in case I can't find him to draw him out. And I'll just go looking around for him. But it doesn't take that long. And look at that nice, beautiful, beautiful ram into that comet for that last kill. That was fun right there. Um, nice fun into the battle. So we did get pretty nice there. Second class, 3,262 damage and one kill. So that is the FV301, guys. Great tank. Looking forward to the tier 9 and 10. And I will have reviews on them coming out in the next week or two, depending on how quickly I can get them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.